Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com. I wanted to give you kind of a sneak peek inside of our online ground school as to what we're doing. We just finished shooting and filming an entire E6B, manual E6B flight computer segment. 15, almost 20 minutes worth of content. And I wanted to show you one of the private pilot FAA written test questions, how you can best answer it, and kind of let you, again, see inside our online ground school how we teach and everything else. So it'll be kind of fun. Let's go ahead and look at our question here together. It's time, distance, and ground speed. The question, again, this is right from the FAA database, says, what is the estimated time and route from the Sandpoint Airport, Area 1, to the St. Mary's Airport, Area 4? The wind is from 215 at 25 knots, and the true airspeed is 125 knots. Well, first things first, we need to look at that sectional chart. And I've pulled it up here for you so you can see it. You can see that Sandpoint Airport at the top in Area 1, and I'll draw a line straight on down to that St. Mary's Airport there, and I'll do a little bit of the legwork for you. Our true course on that is going to be a 181, and it's 59 nautical miles. So now, knowing that data, how can we plug that into our flight computer and get the proper answer together here? So now that we have this little bit of information, let's work through it together here. And we follow our steps that are listed on our flight computer. First things first, it says to set the wind direction underneath the true index. It says the wind is from 215 at 25. Pretty easy. Let's spin it on around to 215. Got it. At 25 knots because step two says to mark wind velocity up from the center point here. And let me show you, I kind of like to cheat a little bit here. I like to move this all the way up to the 100 to make my counting a little bit easier. So you can see I've moved that to just about the 100 point. There, we're on the 100 point. So now when I say the wind is at 25 knots up from center, I can just look and see where that is. And I can put that dot right down there for you there at the 25 knot mark. Again, you could have done that from anywhere, but you need to do a little bit of counting. It's easy just to put it on the 100 and move up to the 25 knots that the wind is. Step number three says to set the true course under the true index. We did a little bit of plotting on that sectional chart for you and found our true course is a 181. Let's move that around to our 181 that we've got there. Step four, slide wind velocity mark, this mark we made right here, to our true airspeed. The question says the true airspeed is 125 knots. I want to take this and I want to move this to the 125 mark, don't I? So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'll slide this down, get it just about right. Perfect. So I've slid that down. And the last step says to ground speed reads under center. So I look at my ground speed now and I go, okay, two, four. I'm looking at a ground speed of roughly about 104. I can see that headwind now. I can see that wind correction angle now. And most importantly, I know my ground speed. Because the question says, what is the estimated time in route? So now the question I need to ask myself is, at 104 knots, how long is it going to take me to travel 59 nautical miles? Let's spin it around to our flight computer side. Our ground speed was what? 104. It says to set miles per hour, in or knots, doesn't matter, underneath this black triangle, our true index. So I'm going to move that to our 104. This will work as the 100, 1, 2, 3, 4. I've got that locked in there at 104. And now you'll see that our distance is read on the outer scale, our A scale, and the time is read on our inner scale, the B scale. We're going to travel 59 nautical miles. So I'll come over here to 55, there's 60, here's 59. I'll read straight down and get roughly 34 minutes is how long it'll take me to make that trip. And you can see our answer there coming up on your slide of 34 minutes. It's a lot of work to get a simple answer. 
but this is an actual FAA written test question. These questions are going to come up on your check ride. These are the kind of skills you need to know to do a successful cross-country diversion. I know you say, Jason, my iPad does this. My electronic E6B does that. That's all great, but you can't bring your iPad in with you to your written test. The examiner, the check ride examiner, could take your iPad away from you. You need to have a raw manual E6B skill to fall back on at the private pilot level. Trust me, you will need to have it despite what anybody else tells you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, this is a quick kind of look into our online ground school. More questions like this, fuel burn, more time and distance questions. We go into great detail inside our online ground school. Groundschoolacademy.com. Awesome 4K ultra high def videos. If you enjoy my teaching style, if you feel I'm decent at breaking things into plain English, you're going to love our online ground school. Groundschoolacademy.com. Check it out. Become a member today. And most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.